Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Rachel of Gathered Plans. This stunning kit is from Avenue K Design. I do PR for Angela, so check out her shop. My code is Rachel20 for 20% off and my exclusive freebie. You guys may be wondering why am I using a birthday kit even though my birthday was last week. I elected to use a beach kit just because I went to the beach for my birthday and I felt like it was more suited for that week, but I still wanted to use a birthday kit for the month of May so that way I didn't waste it and I still wanted to celebrate it somehow. So I'm going to pull in the Simply Gilded Washi. I actually didn't end up using that dark charcoal one just because I felt like it was a little bit too dark for this kit. And again, using my Muji pen in 0.5. So for this plan with me, I am going to answer questions just because um, I've been kind of bored about talking about spreads. So I'm kind of going through this phase and I hope you guys don't mind. I may periodically talk about some stuff here and there, but I got tons of questions, so I might actually just answer all the questions. And I've been getting really good feedback about answering questions. I think people enjoy getting to know the person behind the screen because you guys are already seeing our plans and stuff. But if you have any questions about where the stickers are from and what shops they're from, just ask me below. I'll be more than happy to tell you. Um, I'm pretty good at remembering which sticker comes from where just because... I'm a sticker addict. <laughs> but don't forget, all of my codes are also below as well. So if you want to get any discounts for shops that um, you're interested in, please definitely do so. And just so you guys know, I do tend to post about one to three videos a week. Three is kind of a stretch and four is definitely a stretch, but I have been posting four lately. So I don't, don't hold me to it. I may not keep up with it, but it's been fun. I've been periodically planning and filming little every single day so it's not overwhelming and doesn't feel like a chore when I have to sit down and do like hours of it and I feel like I still have time for my family and friends and chores and work and all that so it works out this is just what works for me I've been doing for the past two weeks and I feel significantly happier and I feel like it's enjoyable and tolerable you know what I mean Anyways, so I'm going to ask you, not ask you, I'm going to answer the questions you guys asked me. So let's get right into that. These first two questions are from Kristen of Planning Kalo or Kristen Plans. The first one is, what's your dream car? And I've always thought that Jeep Wranglers are beautiful, but my boyfriend is an engineer and refuses to let me get one because they are incredibly dangerous. And I'm not even going to go into the details of why they are because I don't want to bore you to death, okay? Um, <laughs> but honestly, I also think Audis are beautiful. I don't have a specific model that I would want, but I think um, Audis are just gorgeous vehicles. And so the next question from Kristen is, do you have names picked out for future children? I actually do. I've always loved the name Riley for a girl. I love like unisex names for, for girls, like boy names for them. I just think it's really, really cute. Um, and for a boy, I love the name Kaden, um, but my boyfriend loves the name Kai, so I might have to kind of like, you know, make a sacrifice and go along with that because I'm arguing with him about the way I want to spell Riley. He wants to spell it a different way, and I'm just like, no, no. Let's sp spell it like the normal way, R-I-L-E-Y, and he wants to spell it R-Y-L-E-E. -E. Nothing against that spelling, so I'm sorry if that's how your name is spelled. I just like how it looks better on paper. It's just, I don't know. I'm weird. Okay. <laughs> this next question is from April of Georgia Girl Plans. And she asks, how did you meet or get your pup? So I am a very firm believer in adopting, not shopping. Nothing against it. If you buy, you know, and shop for your dog, um, like from a breeder, I just think it's incredibly expensive. And adopting usually comes with like the full thing, like all the vaccinations, the surgeries, medicine, all that good stuff until like a year or two down the road when whenever it's due again. And um, so long story short, me and my boyfriend were looking to adopt and I got really attached to this little dachshund at the SPCA. And unfortunately, it had like 3 million applications before me. So there was no chance, you know, for me to get it at all. And so one day I was working and my boyfriend was like, he was off that day. So he went to go look and, um, you know, they come like, they go like hotcakes. So you really have to go at random times to see if they had like a litter brought in or something. So there was a litter of fresh puppies and they're like lab pit mixes. But my dog, I think actually looks like, um, 
like he's part German short hair pointer. If you know what that is, like he's he's probably he's a mutt for sure. But we just don't know. I don't think he has very much lab in him at all, to be honest with you. I can definitely see the pit, but I don't know what else the other breed are, breed is. But so my boyfriend went and saw and he sent me pictures while I was at work and I'm like, oh my god, put an application and I didn't want to get my hopes up, so I tried not to get attached. And I believe like things work in mysterious ways and it was meant to be. So one day we got a phone call leaving the gym and I vividly remember this. I even remember specifically what I was wearing. Um, and so we got a call and I checked my voicemail and I was like, hey, it's the SPCA. The two applications before you, you know, dropped out, did you, were you still interested? And I was like, get in the car, like, let's go. Like, <laughs> I was just like not playing around. We both wanted a dog for a while and just something to love on because, you know, like we love love and it sounds super tacky, but we just love dogs too. Um, I just feel like they bring so much happiness into your life or any animal for that matter, whether you're a dog person, a cat person, you got fish, you got birds, I don't I don't care. Get the zoo, do whatever you gotta do. But it's just, it was just meant to be. You know, my boyfriend and I were actually going through like a weird transition from like college into our workforce and there were just other things going on. So we just wanted something to kind of brighten, bright, brighten our lives up a little bit. And so we finally got him and I remembered like crying because I was so happy. We named him Jace, which means to heal. And yeah, I'm like literally getting like teary eyed thinking about it right now because he is like the love of my life and makes us both incredibly happy. I really don't know what I would do without him. So before I start crying, I'm just going to go to the next question. Okay. Oh, I just sneezed. So I'm like trying to get myself together here. So I'm sorry if my voice sounds weird. <laughs> so this next question is from Desma. Actually, the next few questions are from her, and I'm going to try my best to answer all of them, but we are running out of time. The first one is a compliment she gave me. She said, girl, why are you so gorgeous? Thank you. That is very, very sweet of you. The second question is, um, if there's anything in life you could do a do-over on, what would it be? It would easily be a different um, degree in college. Like I would have had something a little bit more specialized. Just because everyone in my family went straight into the military and I'm the first person in my entire family to go to college. So that was definitely a huge accomplishment, but I didn't have a lot of guidance. I felt like I was kind of figuring everything out on my own along the way. And I'm definitely going to be a huge resource for my little sister though when she goes to college. But I would have definitely gotten something a little bit more specialized and looked into what could make more money when you get out of college. Um, and also probably try to get into like a, a military academy just because they do pay for your school. The next question is, what would your dream vacation be? That's very easy. We would go to New Zealand. So the next few questions are from Cindy of Cindy P Plans. She asked, does your boyfriend like your planning and does he watch your YouTube or know about your YouTube? And yes, my boyfriend was actually my very first subscriber. He is incredibly supportive of my hobby. Um... Because he has a hobby, which is, he's very into Magic the Gathering. It's a card game. Um, if you know anything about, like, Dungeons and Dragons, it's not similar. It's not the same, but it's kind of similar. Um, but he's into that. So, like, he understands exactly where I'm coming from. It's a hobby. You know what I mean? Um, but he does watch my videos sometimes. I doubt he, like, actually sits through it, <laughs> if I'm being honest. But he does check it out a lot. He's always like, dang, babe, you got, like so and so subscribers like and I just think it's so amazing that he's incredibly supportive of that so the next one is how did you meet your boyfriend my senior year in college I was working part-time at a gym on top of like two other jobs I had um, and I was single and he walked into the gym I was working at and we just kind of met there and continued to just talk and stuff but he was sailing at the time and he was supposed to go overseas I didn't want to we both kind of agreed mutually to not get into anything serious because of the distance. But when he got back, it kind of became a thing. So it's been three years now. <laughs> I was struggling really hard with that undo. And as you guys saw, there were tons of like white out left on my hands just because there was white out under that full box. Ugh, it was rough. Anyway, so I'm just going to go ahead and continue to talk about the rest of the spread. I got Thai with my friend at work. She's on my team. It was delicious. So, so good. I love Thai tea. If you guys haven't had it, so bomb. But I also picked up the red curry because I love Thai curry. 
And so on Saturday, I went ahead and edited and that gorgeous laptop or monitor icon is from the Graceful Planner and I just love it. It's just so pretty. And I also did a few things that morning. I did laundry and we had a garage sale in my community. I was only really able to sell a few things, but we were trying to get rid of things that we don't use but are pretty good things like appliances, like toaster ovens, vacuums, um, a deep fryer. We had like three baby gates just because when my dog was like little, he needed one, but we also tried to get one for, for his Harry Potter room under the stairs, but that didn't work out very well. <laughs> so we were trying to get rid of them. And if you guys don't have kids or just never bought a baby gate in your life, baby gates are really expensive. They are not cheap. Um, we had to kind of get several for like trial and error, and we just ended up never returning them because it's such a hassle to return things to Amazon. It's just so annoying, especially when you get rid of the box. I'm not about to return that and get a box. You know, it's my time, effort, and, you know, getting a box is just so much more expensive and not worth it. But anyways, I went ahead and just put the top deco for the, um, the top space, obviously Rachel. And I thought that the deco was really, really pretty. I love the really dark, like, um, plant floral prints. So gorgeous. And so I forgot to mark payday on Thursday, which, hello Rachel, why do you forget to do that? The most important day. <laughs> of like a week so I wanted to mark that and I had to cut down this flag just because I wanted to add a little bit more white space to the sides and that laundry icon and that film clapper are from Honey Inked again I do PR for her use Rachel 15 for 15% 15 off and then I got my nails done that that morning or after yeah morning and that cute nail polish sticker is from planning like a pro and that tennis shoe sticker is from GP Sticker Studio. And my boyfriend and I went and got Hawaiian food. Um, it was so good. It's called Ono Hawaii Barbecue. And that really gorgeous bow is from White Deer Stationery. I completely forgot to mention that I have a discount code for planning like a pro. It is Rachel15 for 15% 15 off. And that gold script sticker is from Nettie Designs. I also have a discount code for her. It's Gathered Plans 25 for 25% 25 off which is incredibly generous, so definitely check that out. On Sunday, we watched the documentary on Ted Bundy, which is on Netflix and played by Zac Efron. I don't know how I feel about it. I liked it, but it was also kind of weird. You know, I felt like they left out a lot as well. I, I don't know. I have mixed feelings about it. So now I'm just going to fill out the rest of my sidebar. And here are the leftover stickers. And I will also give you guys a Viv Wiggle. I really appreciate you watching this video. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.